Well, welcome to the tutorial on the auric field. Um, I'm working out of the Essence of Sound book and I'm on page 269 and there it's the beginning of chapter 9 and you can see the woman with her chakras outlined with the auric band fields. Now I want to talk a little bit about the chakras because it's the chakras that give the clue to what the meaning or what the um, experience with the auric band um, is. So the root chakra, uh, it's all about family support, security. The sacral chakra, the movement one, it's all about fluidity and movement, so it has more of an emotional attitude to it. We've got the solar plexus chakra, that's me, myself and I, and how I think and how I, how I affect um, in the world. Heart chakra, sitting right on the chest, is our love connection. The throat chakra, a lot to do with the will and power and speaking the truth and like standing in your power. The brow chakra has to do with the intuition, bringing in concepts and ideas. And then the crown chakra is your spiritual connection. So just defining the chakras then, we're going to move into the auric band. So the first auric band field is just a, a light white shimmering, and they call it the etheric body. Now you can label this in your book if you'd like as I go through. So the etheric body is the one that's the closest to the physical body. So it's kind of a, an energy template of what's going on in the physical body. It um, picks up the information from the meridians, and it still has some... Um, how would you say, communication or network with the organs and glands in the body. So the next one is a little shimmering blue light and that's um, related to the sacral chakra and that's the emotional body. And it's about feeling, so the emotional body is I feel emotionally. And then this little yellow light is related to the solar plexus chakra and the solar plexus chakra of course is yellow so that one's an easy one to remember. And that one's, I think. The next band is a light pink shimmering as well. And it's all about the heart connection. It's related to the heart chakra. And it's about, um, I, I love humanity. And it's called the astral body. So we've got the three physical bands on the bottom. And then we've got the astral body. And the astral body, just like the heart chakra, is the connection between the physical aspects of the body or the auric field and the spiritual aspects of the body or the field, depending on whether you're looking at the chakra or the auric field band. So moving now into the spiritual aspect, we've got what's called the etheric template. It's a, it's a blue, blue shimmering light. And it really is a uh, blueprint. That's how I remember it, it's blue. And it's a blueprint for what's going on in the etheric body, which is the one that's closest to the physical body. So now moving on into this white shimmering, like opalescence, that's working with the celestial body. It's connected to the brow chakra. And so that's what, where you get your concepts and your ideas and your intuition. And uh, the last one is called the cathetic body, and it is the, the one with gives you the spiritual connection. It's got all the rainbow colors in it, and it's the one about I know. I know and I am. So the job of the auric field then is a filtering system. We pick up information from the universe, wherever we're going. Think about being in the forest and all of a sudden, out of the corner of your eye, you hear and you see the saber-toothed tiger coming to get you. So it's the job of the auric field to pick up which one of these filters is going to create the action. So you're not going to say, oh, I love that saber-toothed tiger. I'm just going to go over there and give it a great big hug. That would be the astral body talking. No, the information gets filtered. It'll go to the etheric body and the etheric body will say, hey, we got to get out of here. And so it triggers the fight and flight response. And so that information then goes into the, the physical body where you can take action. So that's the job really of the auric field. 
Um, some people consider it an immune system where we get information coming to us, we can filter it, and we can also heal through the auric field. If we can catch this information in here, it will not manifest as sickness and de disease in the physical body. So if you understand the importance of working with vibration, vibrational remedies, sound, colors, crystals, gems, sacred geometry, by supporting the netting of the auric field, you'll then understand the importance of creating um, health in this field so that you can keep your physical body 100% healthy. There are eight choices of auric field sound essence remedies. Aura Joy, which nourishes all seven bands, Gratitude, Reiki Revolution, Spiral Energy for Pain Relief, Penultimate, to let go of what no longer serves you, Infinity, for integrating wellness through all the energy systems, Abundance, Leilana Grid, which supports our connection between Heaven and Earth, and Stargate, to support the Merkaba energy. For more in-depth information about the Auric Field Remedies, visit www.soundessence.net and I'll see you there.